let's take a look at that first question. So we want to solve for the root. Notice the wording at the top, find the root of each equation. Okay, so if it's the root of each equation, that's just another word for solving the equation or isolating the variable. So who can help me determine what would be our first step to get the variable x by itself? Anybody want to help me out? Go ahead, Graham. Uh, you could add 4 to 10. Awesome. So add 4 to 10. So some people choose to just do that step and show it as adding 4 over here. Some people show it as the negative 4 coming to the other side. Notice when, the, when a number is brought to the other side, the sign will change, or you can actually indicate that you're adding 4 to each side, and then you can do your cancellation. So what does that leave us with there, folks? What are we left with now that we've taken care of that negative 4? 7x equals 14. Awesome. 7x on the left side, and that equals 14. Nicely done. So we are almost there. So what this tells us is that 7x is equals 14. So we probably can tell what x is just by looking at it. What's x going to be? Who can predict what x is going to be there? Adam? 2. It's going to be 2. Nicely done. How can I show it mathematically? What if it was a, a more difficult number, maybe a decimal or some, re, uh, some repeating decimal, something that would be more difficult to kind of predict what x would be? How would I show that? How would I isolate x? What's the last step? What do you think? Go ahead, Luke. Awesome. 14 divided by 7. Once again, remembering, whatever we do to one side, we have to do the other. So the logic here is that 7 divided by 7 is 1, and we're left with x equals 2. And right there, my friends, we have a solution.